there needs there there needs to be order and talking and sharing and without sounding like like a derp. I sound like a derpy derp. <laughs> I am freezing right now. I'm so cold. And I just, I knew this winter was too good to be true to not get snow until now when it's basically spring. And of course there's gonna be like another snow storm. I can't even say a snowstorm in like two days. <sighs> I just, I hate. And when I say hate, it's true, deep, passionate hatred for the cold. <laughs> And me and the gold have been enemies since the beginning of time. And that is pretty much because I have Raynaud's, which is a waste, a waste of a disease. I feel like it is. But those of you out there who do have it, you feel my pain and we understand. And same thing for those who are anemic. Um, what Raynaud's basically is, it's a poor circulation to your like, hands and your feet and sometimes your ears, your nose, and um, it's, <laughs> it's annoying and it's pretty painful and stressful. Um, basically I can't go anywhere where it's cold, like at all. Like as a child, like my hands and my feet were always freezing and they're like ice right now, like no one would let me touch them. Like. <laughs> my parents, my siblings, my friends, like, I couldn't touch anyone without them screaming or crying, and, um, like, the only person who did actually let me touch them, like, I'm just, like, I can't even touch myself, like, it's, it's cold, <laughs> um, but the only person who did was my husband, but even now, sometimes, he'll still, like, flinch or, like, yell at me for touching him, but not really yelling, but you know what I mean, um, <laughs> As a kid, I couldn't play in the snow, so every year for winter, like when you see everybody running outside and having snowball fights and stuff, of course I'd want to go play, but if I go outside, I literally would only last maybe 10 minutes, and then I'd be in like extreme pain. Because imagine it, like sticking your hand in snow and leaving it there for like, or ice water, and leaving it there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and you know how it starts to really hurt when it gets cold. And then when you put your hands directly under hot water and then that intense stinging feeling, that's typically what I feel. And it wouldn't even need to be cold enough to start snowing. Like the worst days where my body would react like really bad would be like, when it's so cold outside that it doesn't snow. <laughs> and then, um, basically like my fingers would turn like white and it would become numb and I can't really feel anything. And if I don't check it or monitor it, it'll start to turn black. And <laughs> if that gets to the point, then of course it's like hypothermia and you know, you have to amputate your limbs and I don't want that to happen. So I will, never be in anywhere that I can potentially get stuck in the snow because I know I'd be the first one dead like without a doubt but yeah it's it's really hard um, sometimes to like do anything when it gets to that point where like I can't move my fingers or my feet and sometimes I would need like assistance <laughs> like my husband or like my friends or whoever um, would have to do things for me because like it would hurt so bad that I couldn't do anything um, and I just like I can't I can't function in the winter or whenever it's cold I think I tested it was it like last time it was like two summers ago I tested exactly what temperature it needs to be for my body breaking things for my body to be okay and in order for me to not wear a jacket or like or a hoodie or anything, it would need to be 80 degrees Fahrenheit, <laughs> like flat, like 80 for me to be okay. And it would need to be hotter for me to function better. <laughs> Even if there's air condition, like when it's hot outside, I can't, I can't be in there because then my body will start having a rea reaction. 
and so like I'd always carry like a sweater or something to keep myself warm. My core body temperature is normal but like my limbs are like ice and that gets really frustrating especially like in the winter time because the thing is I get hot <laughs> and cold at the same time so like I bundle up to be able to go outside without you know having my my limbs and stuff turn black <laughs> and I get really hot but then I can't take off my coat because then I'll get cold and so since I keep it on I start to sweat and then I sweat it makes me cold because it's the winter and then it's just a never-ending cycle and also um, that type of reaction uh, with rain odds is, is triggered from the level of stress which is why you typically see me happy all the time <laughs> any moment I'm upset especially when I'm upset or heated like or nervous um, I could just feel it like all the heat goes to the core and then my limbs are like ice um, and then that creates the circle of you know my body being hot and cold at the same time and then um, they'll start to swell and then I can't walk and it's just it's pretty miserable <laughs> but I wouldn't call it like life-threatening which is why I feel like it's such a waste of a disease it's just annoying <laughs> Like, I can't even, like, my fingers are so cold. The thing is, it's, like, it's not even useful in the summertime, like, to have, like, ice fingers. You would think, but, like, when it gets to that point, like, when it's really hot, then, of course, all the blood rushes to my hands, and then my hands are hot. So, it's cold when I don't want it to be, and then when I want it to actually be cold, it's not. <laughs> so, that's, that's my misery. One of the things that I just realized um, lately, because my sister, when my sister had her kid, um, <laughs> she was trying to put him on a regular sleeping pattern, and like she would try and kind of wake him up so then he'll fall asleep at night. And I remember when, like, she first had him, I went to hold him, and. I touched his arm and then he looked like he was gonna die like he shriveled up his whole body and his face turned red and he started screaming and crying and so my sister used my hand to like keep him awake and what I just realized is I'm gonna have a problem when I have my own kids <laughs> and I don't even know how that's gonna work out because I would need like I don't want to traumatize them the first <laughs> moments of their life so I can't physically hold them like I can't do skin skin to skin contact. I won't be able to, so I think I guess I'll have to invest in some gloves or something to hold my own child. I'm sure they'll have an even stronger heat for the cold because they won't even know why and it's cause mommy mommy's ice. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to vent a little bit. Um I just don't feel like standing up to get the rest of what I need to get for this actual video that I'm supposed to be filming. But, yeah. So, uh, alright. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I see you. So have a wonderful night, morning, evening, or afternoon whenever you're watching. And I hope it doesn't snow, unless you like the snow. And if you like the snow, we can trade. I would love to trade with you right now. <laughs> alright, bye.